welcome back to the limited queue. Today we're going to talk about the upcoming set, Magic Forgotten Realms. You might not realize it, you might not know it, but uh, the main creature types for this set have already been released, they've already been announced. They just kind of did it on the down low with the release of Strixhaven. There's some very interesting things you can tell from Strixhaven flip cards. For example, on Valentin, Dean of the Vein, would it make more sense to give you reminder text that the flip side is a human or a druid? Humans traditionally have much more impact on gameplay. However, this time it says druid. It's the second creature type on the card, but it's not always in alphabetical order, which doesn't make sense either. Lizette, which is the flip side of Valentine, says warlock, when the alternative could be vampire. It could only make sense that they've announced the five different classes that are already going to be in Forgotten Realms. You just haven't noticed it yet. And there's ways to plan for this, and there's ways to profit. For example, one, the uh, five classes that I've noticed are warlocks, shamans, druids, clerics, and wizards. You know what's missing? Warrior. Maybe, uh, maybe that'll come out in Forgotten Realms, and then... Uh, it'll go along with some of the warrior themes in Zendikar. That would be neat. Another thing we can do is spec on uh, the Druid Champion, where you tap seven Druids and gain control of all your opponent's lands. That's probably going to go up if there's a lot more Druids printed, especially for Commander, which needs Singletons. For Kilane, Dean of Substance Abuse, would you think it, ma it makes more sense that her reminder text has her as an Elf or a Druid? Elves are incredible, but in this set, in this upcoming set, the reminder text for her it says Druid. That must mean that Druids in Forgotten Realms are going to be more important than Elves. That also means that Clerics are going to be more important than Birds, Wizards are going to be more important than Merfolk, and Druids are going to be more important than Humans, Warlocks more important than Vampires. You have to remember, standard cards, standard sets, are made for standard players. They would not have put this reminder text there if it wouldn't be relevant for upcoming sets. When Forgotten Realms comes out and these five classes become major players, you're gonna be able to sit there and say, oh, I woulda, shoulda, coulda bought uh, that Morning Tide Archmage, which had spiked 200%. Well, maybe you should buy it now. One cute little thing that I noticed is that Many of these flip cards are humans. Forgotten Realms is going to be interesting and there's ways to profit off of it. What, Wizards has already told you what to do. You just didn't know how to read the signs. There's been plenty of instances in the past where this has been the case. For example, uh, ooh, Robber, Robber of Riches, is a rogue. Came out in Eldraine and then uh, became relevant in the next set, Zendikar. Zendikar? Yeah, sure. Let's just say that. Warriors has already been an active archetype all through Zendikar. You have Nishiri telling you that it's going to happen. There's a red-white champion uh, that gives a champion lord that's at uncommon for warriors. And in Throne or whatever it was, there's the three one that makes that that makes warriors and cowards. All of these things have been predicted. There are ways to capitalize and get ahead of it before everybody notices. Creature types are important. Wizards is telling standard players what's important for the future. It's up to you to listen, and it's up to you to profit now. The one druid uh, lore that I found, I think that's gonna go up. I don't, there's not a lot of warlocks. Uh, however, Kravik is a warlock, go figure. Uh, shamans, maybe. Clerics, uh, Edgewalker, it has already spiked a big time. I'd also look at Battletide Alchemist. Uh, and for Wizards, I don't know. There's just a bunch of good Wizards already. So, I'd look at those classes. Maybe there's something that, that you could pick up in anticipation for Forgotten Realms before everybody else does. There's a big one. Oh, oh, are we gonna go in after the big one? We're thinking about it. Oh boy. Oh, 
Oh, an even bigger one. I wonder if they are, they are turtle soup. <laughs>